A strange mystical object and men with hazmat suits appeared on Sydney's Bondi Beach. Another whale washes up down the shore, this time in Seaside Park. A bunch of people huddled around. We didn't even know what they were huddled around, so we walked over to see what it was. What is what this is thing? That? Wow. Then we saw this dead animal. The beaches restore one's soul, yet these coastlines have a lot to offer. Bizarre looking remains, heart stopping chases, and otherworldly creatures. Get ready for crazy beach clicks, which, if not filmed, no one would have believed otherwise. Oh my gosh, it's a sea of dead. The crocodile head that washed up on the beach at St. Uh, Lucia. Instances such as this prove that sharks are better hunters than crocodiles. A man on a beach in South Africa filmed this video on November 24, 2014, showing a crocodile head that was found washed up on a beach. On the beach at St. Lucia. If you hold it up next to a human hand, you'll notice how huge it is. And those bite marks? They're pretty much like shark teeth in shape. Uh, you can see the, the shark teeth there. After the video went viral, a marine biologist explained that the crocodile had likely ventured from a river into shark-filled waters and ended up getting ambushed. After all, everyone knows that great whites are commonly found predators along almost every beach in South Africa. Stingray scare. That is literally all stingrays. Ever since the tragic end of an Australian TV celebrity, Steve Irwin, the fear of stingrays has sparked a bit too much. On June 24, 2022, a huge group of stingrays appeared near a beach in Santa Monica. Oh, they're going right for that group of people? No, they're going to go around. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Terrifying everyone around. Now, what were these fishes up to? That is literally all stingrays. That's crazy. There's like 50 of them. Excuse us, we're coming through. Oh, those people are about to get a real rude awakening. Oh, people move. Oh, people move. So, according to the experts, these were just a bunch of young stingrays. Nothing out of the ordinary. But we all know how just one stingray from this gang packs enough venom to be. And what if the whole squad decided to go on the offensive? Prevention is always better than the cure, my friend. Wow. Oh, look at that guy's like, um, come here. Beach Heroics Where we think that all of the mighty beings are always out there doing fun, this whale shows how they can be in trouble too. In 2014, on Shugamong Beach in India, a whale shark became entangled in a huge fishing net. Luckily, it was still breathing, and the locals jumped in for help. So, first things first, they had to cut open the fishing net before setting it free back into the ocean. Once that was done, the rescuers used ropes underneath the shark to guide it towards the water. Now, dealing with those strong water waves made it a real challenge for it, but after a few tries, the rescue finally made it to a deep enough spot to dive down and find its kin. Scarlet Scuttle Oh my gosh, it's a sea of dead. From afar, you might think someone went wild with a red spray paint can on the beach, but hold up until you hear the real deal. The Southern California coast got hit with a crazy invasion of red tuna crabs. See for yourself. Thousands of these little crabs were just chilling in the sun all over the place. Now, what were they doing here? Well, nobody knows. The authorities tried to clear them off the beaches, but some foodies quickly scooped a few for dinner. I mean, they do look kind of tasty. Pray toss. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know about you, but this scene brings to mind the Tom and Jerry show where Tom would often give Jerry a chance to escape after catching him. On October 25, 2015, near a beach in Victoria, British Columbia, 
this orca was found playing around with its prey before eating. Just look at how the orca tossed the seal almost 80 feet high into the air before it landed back into the water, probably flexing its catch. That seal went 80 feet up in the air! Luckily, one of the crew members was recording and caught the incident on camera as one of the rare nature moments. Whale Carcass On October 11, 2020, a massive whale carcass was found ashore on Strand Fountain Beach in Cape Town, South Africa. This whale was way heavier than it looked, and that is why several heavy-duty construction vehicles, cranes, dozers, and trailer trucks had to be called in to remove the expired whale. Even then, it was not an easy task as many municipal workers spent several hours picking up the carcass using the cranes and placing it on the trail, and then leveling it over using the dozens. But I guess this is what happens with all whales bigger than their carriers. Certain body parts are removed to make it easier for them to move. Fatigued Alien Maybe it's from an alien spaceship crash or something. This time we have this clip from October 2012, where a resident filmed this weird looking figure. They found it on a secluded Aussie beach. It's like a tiny human, you know? The kind you see in those classic alien sketches. Is it not me or are you all wondering if it hitched a ride on some UFO that crashed nearby? And just look carefully. It kind of looks alive, but seriously banged up. Word is, marine researchers are checking it out, and until then, the area has been restricted. Believe me or not, something fishy is cooking. New Zealand Sea Monster A 9 meter long bizarre creature with large, jagged, blackened teeth. What could it be? What is it? It's a good question. Take a look at this grizzly carcass. It was found on a New Zealand beach. Well, the same question not only hit the mind of the beachgoers who came across it on the Bay of Plenty Beach, but this monster has also become a topmost mystery for all kinds of life sciences. The large, rotting carcass of a mysterious-looking sea monster had a huge head and teeth with rudimentary flippers. Half of the creature's body was buried, while the rest of the body was missing probably mainly entrails from an attack. Saltwater crocodile, a giant moray eel, a dolphin, or a dinosaur. Different titles were suggested for the intact corpse. But experts believe that by studying the creature's fin structure, this could be identified as a killer whale. Squid Apocalypse Now, this is heartbreaking. Back in 2016, things got pretty weird on the Chilean shores when thousands of Humboldt squids washed up. It was not normal by any way that around 10,000 of these squid carcasses just appeared out of nowhere, stinking up the whole beach. Experts swooped in to figure out what the heck was going on. Turns out it might have been a drop in oxygen levels caused by upwelling that did these poor squids in. Anyway, besides the gross smell, everyone was worried about their health too. We never know what nature throws at us. Starfish Extravaganza Whoa! It looks like Starfishes is going to have some festival celebrations offshore today. On January 26, 2016, a couple decided to spend time at the beach, where they were shocked to find hundreds of thousands of starfish washed ashore on Florida Beach. While they thought of it as a perfect sight to watch, the marine biologists were disturbed and said it was a calamity for the starfish clan. These unfortunate creatures were forcefully brushed off the shore by intense storms, wave currents, or fluctuating tides, turning it into an unwanted adventure. Clam Eruption Now, I am not sure if this site will excite or creep you out. Pleasant to a few and itching for others, this footage was captured on May 24, 2020 at Daytona Beach in Florida, showing millions of hordes of many clams erupting from the sands, 
almost as if it's a surprise invasion. It looked as if colorful popcorn were popping out to make everyone aware of their existence. Just imagine the terror that would have prevailed if their size was as huge as an adult human. Thankfully not. These clams are known to bury themselves in the sand beach in preparation to feed. As soon as they sense an incoming wave, they boom out to feast on smaller water organisms. Rescue Duo There is no better way to bring your children by teaching them to be a helping hand no matter what the place and situation. It was in January 2015 that a tide lowered suddenly leaving a dolphin stranded on Long Island Beach in New York. The poor creature was all sad and had given up any chances when this man and his daughter found it. With a heart full of love, both of them decided to put it back into the waters. Although it was a tough task, within an hour of effort, they managed to pull the dolphin by its tail toward the waves. Wait, what? At first, it looked as if the dolphin wouldn't go inside, but after a bit of struggle, it slid back to her family waiting for her. Monster Mystery A creature from the deep that washed ashore in Ocean County, New Jersey had people asking, what is it? Now, this is some nightmarish stuff. This horrific carcass washed ashore on a New Jersey beach in 2018 and gave the residents the chills of their lives. They were quick to call it a sea monster or something out of this world, but marine experts saved the day for everyone. When the authorities were called in to examine the reptile-like carcass, given the scaly skin it had, they declared it was a diamond sturgeon, a rather ancient fish found primarily in the Caspian, Black, and Sea of Azov basins. We wish the deceased a peaceful life hereafter. They say prehistoric. It certainly looks like it's something out of the deep. Shark versus Stingray In an epic showdown witnessed by beachgoers in Australia, A hungry shark stumbled upon a southern stingray in the waters of Haran Island. But here's the unexpected. Instead of becoming lunch, the clever stingray decided to beach itself. Sure, it was risky, but better than ending up as shark bait, right? With some splashy tail action, the stingray fought for its life, eventually slipping back into the safety of the ocean. But guess what? The shark wasn't giving up that easily. And the chase was still on! White Wonder In July 2022, on an Aussie beach, a group of beachgoers stumble upon a white humpback whale washed ashore. Everyone's buzzing, thinking it's Migaloo making a cameo. But nope! Turns out it's a 10 meter long pure white sub-adult female. She looked like she was straight out of a marble statue or something. They couldn't nail down how long she'd been there, but it looked like she met either her end out at sea or started with darker coloring before the waves did their thing. Mother Nature is full of mysteries. What a chase! Nobody knows what ticked off this hippo, but it was clearly out for some serious business. Human flesh, perhaps. A video from June 2021 caught a seriously angry hippo chasing a boat full of tourists on Lake Victoria in Kenya. While the tourists were out exploring, they noticed this giant eyeballing them from a distance for quite some time. Then, out of nowhere, this behemoth decided it had enough and went full throttle after them leaving everyone on board pretty shaken. Just imagine if the boat hadn't kicked into gear on time, or if the engine had decided to stop midway through the chase. <laughs> Mysterious gelatinous mass. Is that whale vomit? Well, well, there's no need to be this dramatic. Look at these guys standing near it completely normal. This strange sight was captured in 2018 when a huge jellyfish-type blob washed up on a beach. While trying to figure out what this blob was, 
some locals made the mistake of touching it out of curiosity. Apart from looking gross, it could be seriously dangerous. This jelly-like thing might be a jellyfish or even something from outer space with a sting that could be really dangerous. Gator Chase Well, that puts an end to my tarpon fishing. In May 2021, a 22-year-old guy had a seriously scary moment while tarpoon fishing at sunrise in a Florida wetland. When he caught a fish, everything seemed cool, but things went south. As he tried to reel it in, bam! Out of nowhere, a huge angry alligator showed up, freaking him out! Wow. Get back. He backed off quickly as the gator gave him the most terrifying stare. Luckily, the gator decided to bail and went back into the water, guessing it wasn't up for sharing its turf. Hey. Hey, buddy. Jumbo Ocean Sunfish Off the coast of Kuta, they recently reeled in a giant ocean sunfish tipping the scales at over 4,409 pounds. Can you imagine that? This colossal creature got caught up in a tuna fishing net and needed a crane to hoist it out. After all, it measured a whopping 3.2 meters long and 2.9 meters wide. Being so, so big that it nearly broke a 1,000 kilogram scale. That's insane! the marine authorities were blown away, saying they had only ever read about sunfish this size in books. And you know why they call it a sunfish? It loves nothing more than lounging at the surface, catching some rays like it's on a tropical vacation. Roving Kooks Take a walk along the beach in Oceanside and you'll see them, lots and lots of them. Thousands of see-through sea creatures resembling baby dill pickles have washed up on Oregon beaches, making the tourists wonder what they are. But fear not, it's not a pickle takeover this time. These are bioluminescent gelatinous animals called pyrosomes. Each pickle is a colony of individual organisms looking like those long jellies we would eat in childhood. But a little hard and colorless now, I don't think you got the idea. Eee, leave it. Just think, it's like the ocean saying, hey, check out my cool stuff. Yeah, it's a mystery, all right. Turtle babies. <laughs> a clip captured on a beach in Florida shows dozens of tiny turtles hatching from their hidden nest eager to begin their ocean journey. But unlike their brave relatives who face dangers alone, these little ones were greeted by a team of caring rescuers. With gentle hands, they scooped the hatchlings into buckets, ensuring their safe passage to their forever home. As the waves welcomed them, the little turtles paddled into the vast blue, with their tiny flippers making sure they were in action. Bony Shore Bonjour to this bone shore. This stretch of coastland is known as the land God made in anger by the local sea folks. It's no walk in the park, let me tell you. Cold currents act up, dense fog rolls in, and the ground's all marshy. They call it Skeleton Beach because back in the day it was littered with whale and seal bones from the whaling days. Nowadays it's the wrecked ships from the brutal weather that catch your eye. But despite all that, it has become a hot spot for tourists, especially those looking for a bit of glam camping by the sea. Shell Shocks For turtle hatchlings, it's like their own version of a big adventure, just like D-Day on Normandy Beach. This footage was captured in 2018 at the beach of the Great Barrier Reef. Tiny turtles came into this world breaking out of their shells, marking a mad dash to the ocean, where everybody was enjoying nature's magic an awaited tragedy came their way. A load of turtles faced a tough challenge, dealing with aerial predators swooping down for an easy snack. And even if they do make it to the ocean, their journey isn't over yet. They have to dodge sharks and other sea predators. Tough indeed, but it's all part of their wild turtle tale. Fish within fish.
So guess what these guys got to see during their beach stroll in 2021? It was seriously something out of the ordinary, man. Now look at this, a super weird translucent jellyfish, like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, with its last meal trapped inside. But wait, can someone tell me how this whole thing, predator and prey, was perfectly preserved on the sandy beach? Well, is it like every dog has its day? If yes, this jellyfish had it too. Normally, they're the ones doing the hunting, but sometimes life throws a curveball, and small fish end up hijacking the jellyfish for protection. Kind of like how some folks cozy up to authority figures to avoid trouble. Giant Nurture This footage taken from the Doral Wildlife Conservation Trust shows a giant parent ditch frog feeding its young ones. So these tadpoles were moved into this container after being found vulnerable at the beach. And now you might be thinking, what is this family doing? So to cope with scarce food, the mother lays unfertilized eggs for the young to eat and waits until you see her exercising her hind legs to nudge the tadpoles away. After all, every tadpole has equal eating rights. Well, they are the largest yet apparently rarest species alive with only 50 left. And yes, they're called mountain chicken frogs because why not? Their meat supposedly tastes like chicken. Smiling Guardian Yes, the false killer whale is an actual aquatic animal species that looks like a hitman, but is actually not. In September 2015, one of its species was filmed by a research camera in Hawaii, showing a moment where it opened its mouth, scaring the divers around. But guess what? It gave everyone around a rich, toothy smile. Let me tell you, as we have always heard that you cannot judge a book by its cover, these sea dwellers are often mistaken as harmful predators. But just as your pet animals, there is nothing scary about them, at least for humans. Ocean Odyssey. That baby was just born. Yes. Oh my God. In March 2016, off the sunny coast of California, something truly extraordinary unfolded before our very eyes. A group of 40 majestic false killer whales gracefully swam alongside our boat. And then it happened. A newborn calf entered the world. It was like the perfect burst of life between the endless blue. The entire pod rallied around, taking turns to teach the little one to swim, making it a heartwarming sight to behold. It was said that even surfers with over two decades of sea experience couldn't believe their luck and called it a once-in-a-lifetime scene. Ice fishing. <laughs> Back in May 2021, while enjoying a vacation near a beach in Kotzbo, Alaska, the Nelson family decided to try their hand at subsistence ice fishing. That's when six-year-old Drayden Nelson hooked on something truly extraordinary. And guess what? His first catch turned out to be a fish almost the same height as him, measuring a whopping 46 inches long and weighing as much as the young angler himself. It was quite the feat. <laughs> However, what struck me throughout the clip was the missed opportunity for the big guy to teach the boy instead of just doing it himself. So for me, this incident truly highlights the wisdom of the old saying, give a man a fish, and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. Crab Chronicles Ever mistake a blue soldier crab for a spider? You're not alone. On February 10th, 2019, a fascinating sight unfolded on the shores of Mackay, Queensland, Australia. A video captured the charming antics of a blue soldier crab scuttling about the sandy beach. And guess what? Someone even picked it up. Turns out these little guys can be surprisingly friendly, but don't be fooled by their outgoing nature as they are also pretty shy, zipping off to hide in mud shelters at the drop of a hat. Lastly, let's not forget about the talent through which they instantly craft a roof over their heads. Turtle Thrills
Many of you will say that the video has been edited, but guys, you have to believe this. This turtle recorded on July 14, 2022 from Lexington looks as if hurrying to reach his date point on time. To be more precise, look at Mr. Turtle over here, casually sliding down the ramp like it's a water park. Must be plotting its world domination as the smartest turtle on the planet. Next thing you know, it'll be sliding its way to fame and setting world records faster than you can say, turtle power. So all I wanted to say is that this video is proof that we've got a turtle genius on the loose. Whooper Snoot Creature Is it that this fish got so many compliments because it had a nose for fashion? Six years back, a bunch of fishermen up in Bremen, Maine, was gearing up for their day when they stumbled upon this massive 26-foot-long basking shark. I'm talking nearly the size of a pickup truck. Scientifically, it is known as Cateranus Maximus, which means biggest nose sea monster. And did you know they are the second largest fish out there, just behind whale sharks? But don't let their scary looks fool you. They're harmless to us humans. All they do is cruise around with their mouths wide open, slurping up tiny marine snacks like zooplankton and other small critters. Arabian Megastar this is one seriously large, dead whale shark. You won't believe what washed up in Karachi, Pakistan. A colossal 40-foot carcass of the world's largest shark. Yep, it was a whale shark, a whopping 7,000 kilograms heavyweight found lifeless in the Arabian Sea. They had to call in the cranes to yank it out of the water at a fish harbor. And let me tell you, the crowd that gathered to see it was gobsmacked. Experts think it might have met its demise after getting caught up in a net. Would you like to lend any thoughts? Sperm Whale Rescue Strandings can be rough for sperm whales, and sometimes even with rescue efforts, they don't all pull through. However, this hero managed to beat the odds in April 2022. This massive 70-ton, 62-foot-long creature was found stranded in the shallows off the coast of China flapping its tail and unable to move. Not only this, but I was also in danger of dehydration. Although its size was scary, the rescue team did not stay behind. They splashed and splashed water on the whale to keep it hydrated until the rising tide could lift it back into deeper waters. And finally, after a grueling 20-hour operation, the sperm whale was finally freed and returned to her underwater home. Land Lurker brain in tune for that splash. That splash is where the animal's having the drink. That's where he... Now, what was this crocodile doing here? If you think they only live in the water, this video is a lesson for you because believe your eyes, they can live on land too. That splash is where the animal's having the drink. That's where he must go. The major goal, catching prey. A video filmed at Bredley's Wild Farm in Bloomsbury, Australia in May 2019 captures a massive saltwater crocodile, slowly revealing itself as a local tries to attract his attention. And it is not a small one. Huge and furious, it scared me to the core. Just imagine yourself happily going for a swim, completely unaware that a colossal predator is lurking nearby quietly scheming to turn you into its next meal. Time Capsule It's every kid's dream, finding a message in a bottle. Couldn't believe it. Back in September 1988, there's this kid named Chris from Sacramento who gets this wild idea to write a letter, stuff it in an empty seltzer bottle and chuck it into a river. Fast forward to December 2016, and another kid named Ryder finds the bottle near a river in California. He thinks it might be a treasure map or something, but all he finds is Chris's note perfectly preserved in a plastic bag. He was hoping it was a treasure map. Ryder and his mom try calling the number on the note, but no luck. It's disconnected. Still, they're holding out hope of tracking down Chris, who'd be in his 30s by now. Kinder Egg Surprise One serene morning on Lingang Island, an event too fictional to be reality happened. See? Thousands of kinder eggs washed on shore amusing the children. Kinder eggs! 
Those plastic, egg-shaped containers harboring miniature toys presented an unusual sight on the beach. Environmentalists got worried about what all that plastic from the kinder eggs might do to the environment. They knew cleaning it up would be a big job, and therefore asked everyone around to be a helping hand. But where do they come from? It was revealed that these eggs showed up right after Hurricane Axel messed things up in northern Germany. Turns out a cargo ship was carrying five bags of kinder eggs from China to Bremer Haven Port, which got lost due to a hurricane. Savior at Sea Being taken for a ride by a whale. It's never a bad idea to help others in hours of need. Kudos to this couple of friends who, in July 2011, while cruising over the coast of South Africa, found a whale struggling to move. They would not have taken it this seriously if it wasn't stuck in the middle of the water. What next? A brave one of them decided to jump into the water and found this huge humpback whale caught in a fishing net. Considering the size of the sea creature, it took them a little while to free it. However, minutes after the rescue, it began jumping in and out of the water several times as if being thankful. Homeless Hero Meet Jackie, the homeless hero of Batima, Georgia. On a stormy July 4, 2020, as debris cluttered the Black Sea coast, Jackie stepped up. With a heart as big as the ocean, he joined beachgoers in their cleanup efforts. With his tail wagging excitedly, Jackie dashed into the water, eagerly fetching driftwood and branches. Did not his fury determination just touch the hearts of everyone watching? So it was between the splashes and laughter. Jackie proved that even a homeless pup could make a difference and become the cherished protector of Batami's shores. It's time for today's open discussion. All is not over! We had kept this whole drone view safe for you. At Bondi Beach, Australia, a havoc was created when a really huge creature with hundreds of bizarre tentacles suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Things were not that complex until people going on the beach said that they had spotted some men in hazmat suits near the weird site. What was really going on here? A ritual cult, a demonic activity, or a creature appearing directly from the fires of hell? Wait, wait, you don't have to think so far because luckily we have got to know that this uncanny octopus was just a prank placed there as part of promotion for the final season of the Netflix hit Stranger Things. Ah, a sigh of relief. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.